All right, so I'm going to be showing how to open up and disassemble this Dell Inspiron 3646. All right, so first thing we're going to use is a PH2 or JS2 screwdriver to remove the two screws on the back. Okay, so we got two screws here, one down here, and one up here. Okay, once we've removed those two screws, you just use this handle here to slide it off just like that and open it up all right so next thing we're gonna do um, this is just gonna be a kind of a quick short video customer wants me to help them transfer data over to another computer um, once we've done that we're gonna pop this cover off so there's these three plastic tabs here I'll turn it here so it's easier to work on and basically you pull these three tabs up and then as you pull them up you can swing this forward it helps to kind of lift the computer up a little so that you can do that and then you kind of lift it a little as you pull it back and there we go we got the front cover off okay you can see the CD drive and everything in here we're gonna be removing the two screws here to pull the CD drive out okay again using the same screwdriver All right, so let's go ahead and remove that one and this one okay all right there's also a screw down here that we're gonna have to remove inside all right so in there I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to remove that they actually have like some instructions here that they show you um, it actually doesn't say to rem oh actually it does show so here you can see on there it tells you to remove those three screws and then you can pull that out okay so we're gonna remove that screw down there it helps to have a longer screwdriver the screwdriver is kind of short but uh it works all right so let's go ahead and remove that screw there we go all right so now that we got all three screws out let's go ahead and see how this slides out does it just pull straight up okay it just pulls straight up just like this we are gonna have to disconnect this stuff here so let's pull this out Okay, and this out so it's easier to pull the power cable out and this and there was an SSD in here actually um, originally it had I believe a um, three and a half inch SATA hard drive mounted in here with four screws holding it in place um, and then there's an SSD in here now this is what the SSD looks like if you had the regular hard drive you'll have to pull that out first okay so we're just gonna pull these cables out there just like that okay and yeah so this one was upgraded to an ssd at one point here you can see what's inside not really much to it you can see this piece is removable if you need to replace it this cable you can actually disconnect from here if you just wiggle and pull on it and then this connects the um audio jacks and usb ports to these over here so audio jack usb ports all right other ones over here power button I think this is for the power button the lights and all that and then one more is this also USB I think this is also USB all right so not really much to it CPU looks to be soldered to the motherboard underneath here there's the fan connector you just pull that out you can see the two SATA connectors one for the CD drive one for the hard drive and yeah okay then what else we got one stick of RAM there's only one slot pop these two sticks uh, to these two tabs to the side then it comes up and you can pull it out and this is PC 3L 12800S so you can put any PC 3 PC 3L 12800S should be fine it's 4 gigs you can get an 8 gig stick I don't know if they make 16 gigs of this um, if they do you could probably put that as well but because there's only one stick um, I don't think you get dual channel memory unless there's one built into the board okay and then there's the BIOS CMOS battery here. There's a little metal tab. If you pull this down, the battery will pop up a little. It helps to kind of use a magnet to help pull that out as you pull this spring in that way. Okay, and then you got the wireless card here. And there's a little jumper here. I don't know if you can see that. They even lab label it there. So password, clear. Uh, CMCLR1 and then RTCCRST. I'm not sure what each one is for. I'm guessing the one it's on right now is the normal one. It's missing two pins there, which 
I don't know what that is, CNCLR1. Maybe that's to clear the CMOS password, I don't know. Um, but they removed those pins, and then the other one's probably like a BIOS reset, but I'm not going to mess with those. Okay, and that's pretty much all there is in here. Um, let's go ahead and, I guess, well, I'll put it back later because I need to transfer the data for them real quick. And yeah, so let me do that, and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so <clears throat> we got the data out. We're just going to put this back in now, okay? So we're going to reconnect the SSD or hard drive, depending what you had, all right? Because this wasn't screwed down and it was just in here, we're just going to put it back like that. Um, then we're just going to make sure it's in the right place. Carefully drop this back down, okay? Make sure the screw holes and everything line up right. You'll know because this lines up here. All right, of course, we're going to also plug back in the um, optical disk drive or CD drive. All right, just get everything lined up. Push it back in. Good. Okay, pretty simple, straightforward. And then we just got to get the three screws back in here. Okay. So we'll get this screw back in on the side here. This screw back in on the side here. All right, we'll get those two in. Nice. Get the other screw and get that one back down there. Okay. And pretty straightforward. All right, we're going to get the cover back on. Just line it up. So lift this up, get the three little latches down here back in the holes that they are in. Line it up. Oh, there we go. Once you get it all lined up, click it back into place. Good, very simple. Get the cover, line that up. Start it slightly over to the right, then slide it into place. Turn this around and we'll get the screws back in. And that's all there is to it. We're good to go. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. Again, if it did, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. But yeah, other than that, that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.